Iga Sviantec closed out 2023 as the WTA number one after a year filled with singles titles, an impressive win tally, and a remarkable run of victories stretching back to 2022. Yet, her journey wasn't without its challenges, including fluctuations in form and even a brief dip in rankings. This raises the question, just how exceptional was Iga Sviantec's performance in 2023 truly? Stay tuned for the reveal of some astonishing statistics in our video. Iga Sviantec started the 2023 tennis season as the world number one in singles. However, she faced unexpected challenges during the early hardcourt season in Australia. The Polish professional tennis player reached the Brisbane United Cup semis, losing to Jessica Pagula in a 6-2, 6-2 match. Despite Sviantec's effort to rebound in the second set after a break, Pagula's strong play, particularly in returning serves, secured victory. Iga Sviantec was in tears after losing the match. In the post-match interview, Sviantec said, I kind of felt hopeless today because mentally and physically, I wasn't able to kind of show up even and problem solve. What made this loss even more unexpected was that Iga Sviantec had won all four matches against Jessica Pagula in 2022. After that came the 2023 Australian Open, where Sviantec reached only the fourth round following her surprising defeat at the hands of Alina Rybakina. Despite being a favorite for the title, Sviantec acknowledged feeling the pressure, saying, I wanted it. I maybe wanted it a little bit too hard. I felt the pressure. Did Iga Sviantec lose hope and give up after this devastating loss early in the season? Well, not really. In February, the Polish professional tennis player bounced back from early losses by securing back-to-back -back finals at the WTA 1000 Qatar Ladies Open and the Dubai Championships. She even managed to secure her 12th career title at the Qatar Open in Doha, defeating Jessica Pagula 6-3, 6-0 in challenging conditions while not dropping a single set during the whole tournament. With over 400 points added, she maintained a significant lead over Arena Sabalenka in the rankings. At the Dubai Championships, she dominated, defeating opponents like Leila Fernandez, Luidmila Samsonova, and Coco Goff in straight sets. However, her six-match winning streak ended in the final game against Barbara Krejcikova. On March 13th, Iga Sviantec achieved an important milestone by completing her 50th consecutive week as the world number one in women's tennis. The Indian Wells Open saw victories over Bianca Andrescu and Emma Raducanu, but ended with a semifinal loss to Elena Rybakina. Iga's Indian Wells exit, fueled by her rib injury, compelled her to withdraw from the Miami Open, where she was defending her title. Now, before we move on to the clay season, let's take a moment to look at her sponsors. Is the star tennis player still sponsored by ASICs like most players in the WTA? Not at all. Iga Sviantec made a major shift in sponsorship after Indian Wells, moving from ASICs to ON, a Swiss apparel and footwear brand endorsed by tennis legend Roger Federer. This move marked a historic moment as Sviantec became the first female tennis player to secure sponsorship from ON. Her endorsement deal was a major milestone for both the player and the brand. With this new deal in hand, how did Sviantec perform on the clay court? The answer is amazing. During the clay court season, Iga Sviantec showed her brilliant skill and tenacious strength, defending her title at the Stuttgart Open in April. She reached her third WTA final, securing her 13th career singles title by defeating Arina Sabalenka. After the match, the Polish tennis player was extremely happy. I wanted to win hard, but I knew that I couldn't really focus on that and just had to keep doing my job as I did in previous matches. At the Madrid Open, Sviantec made her mark, reaching her first ever quarterfinals. However, she faced a narrow defeat against Sabalenka in the tournament final in a fiercely contested match between the two tennis stars. In May, at the Italian Open, Sviantec dominated with a double bagel victory in the early rounds. Unfortunately, a thigh injury led her to retirement in the quarterfinals against Elena Rybakina. The highlight of the season came at the French Open, where Sviantec clinched her third title, accomplishing the remarkable feat of defending the Roland Garros Championship, making her the first woman to do so since 2007. Eurosports Mats Villander even called Sviantec ruthless after her win against Xin Yu Wang in the third round of the 2023 French Open. Villander also said, it's not important for her to get tested in three sets. She's testing herself at every point, with every shot having a meaning to it. But do you know how Iga's grass court season went after this? It was a disaster. During the grass season, Iga Sviantec faced challenges, retiring in the semifinal at Hamburg and exiting Wimbledon in the quarterfinal. Reflecting on the quarterfinal loss to Elena Svitolina, Sviantec emphasized, my forehand wasn't the best. I'm still working on it. It's hard for me to point out one thing that failed exactly. 
The forehand may not have met expectations, potentially influenced by Iga's personalized racket, the Technofiber Tempo 298. The French-based brand, owned by Lacoste, collaborated closely with Sviantec to tailor the racket for her game, considering details like weight, balance, and even paint varnish. However, Wimbledon saw Sviantec facing a loss. Despite the disappointment, Iga expressed support for Svitolina, showing that she was taking this loss in stride. Could we say that the Wimbledon defeat was the end for Iga Sviantec? Not at all. In July, Sviantec won the Poland Open by defeating Laura Sigemann, securing her first WTA 250 title and her 15th overall career title. It was almost time for the North American tournaments, but before that came the perfect pair of shoes. In August, Iga Sviantec, despite having secured a head-to-toe deal with On in March, approached her ideal custom shoe. Fans briefly glimpsed her new On running shoes in Montreal, but the world number one continued to wear Asics with her On match kits. Sviantec, working closely with On, stated her custom shoe was really, really close to perfection, tailored to her movements and running style. Though her footwear transition had been slower than her clothing, she expressed confidence that she would soon compete in On shoes. Was her hardcourt season in the US and Canada just as good as this wonderful news? Not exactly. In fact, it was disappointing. At the Canadian Open, she reached the semifinals, but Jessica Pagula pulled off an upset. The US Open brought another surprise as Sviantec was defeated by Yelena Ostapenko in the fourth round, ending her 75-week streak as world number one. Sviantec admitted to feeling extremely sad about breaking her streak at the top. She said, usually I'm not looking at numbers, but overall, I love them. I would love to extend this record a little bit longer. This is something that when I was younger, I actually kind of wanted to break some record or have something. Despite the setbacks, Sviantec could still see progress in her skills and looked forward to regaining the top spot through hard work and focus. Did these losses throw the Polish professional tennis star off her game? Not at all. Iga experienced a mix of outcomes in the Asian season, facing both disappointment and triumph. She faced a setback at the Japan Open, exiting in the quarterfinals. Luckily, Iga made a remarkable recovery at the China Open, securing her fifth title by defeating Ludmila Samsonova in straight sets. Reflecting on her unexpected victory, Iga stated, For sure, it was the last thing that I expected at the beginning of the tournament. Despite facing challenges, including a loss of her world number one ranking, she demonstrated resilience, beating Flushing Meadows champion Coco Gauff on her way to the final. It had been a year with many ups and downs, but it wasn't the end yet. Even Serbian tennis star Novak Djokovic has praised Iga's determination. He said, I love her, you know, devotion, dedication. Also, you know, maybe she's too humble to say, too modest to say, but she's got a great fighting spirit, no doubt. So how did Iga Sviantec finish off the 2023 season? She made history, becoming the first woman since Serena Williams in 2012 to win the 2023 WTA Finals title without dropping a single set. Her sixth and final trophy of the year was secured at the WTA Finals in Cancun, where she went undefeated against Jessica Pagula in the final. Reflecting on her journey, Sviantec took to social media saying, What a season that was. I saw, did, and learned so much. The future holds endless possibilities as Sviantec looks ahead to new challenges and continued success. She didn't just end the year atop the WTA rankings, but also topped the 2023 WTA prize money standings. Despite Sabalenka's initial lead, Sviantec's WTA Finals victory boosted her earnings to $9,857,686, marking the sixth best season ever. In an impressive 2023 season, Iga Sviantec clinched six titles and 68 wins, totaling 131 victories since 2022. Notably, she won 20 sets with a 6-0 score and secured 13 wins against top 10 players, underscoring her dominance en route to becoming the WTA number one and one of the top earners in 2023.